Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to multiply these two given matrices. If you observe these matrix, uh, first matrix on the left hand side, this is 3 by 3. Isn't it? 3 rows and 3 columns. Rows are this way and columns are this way. And the next matrix, the right hand side matrix is 3 by 3 as well. So usually the way we multiply, the, the way we do is you get this row and you multiply with the column. So the flow chart is going to be like this way. But I'm going to show you a really simple way to do this problem. And here is the matrix scheme that we will be using. Really simple. Just uh, see how I'm going to show you how to fill in the blanks where these blue numbers are going to go and where these red numbers are going to go. All right. So since we are dealing with the uh, three by three matrices, so that means our this answer matrix is also going to have a three rows. You can see one, two, three rows and three column as well. So let's get started now. Let me show you. Look at the left hand side, the blue matrix. This column, this one, the very first column is going to go right up here. The next column on this one is going to go the once again the very first slot of this one. And finally this one is going to go over here. So let me just write down those numbers pretty quick. So that means this number is going to be a 5, negative 4, negative 9 and this is going to be a negative 2, 1, 7 and likewise over here negative 8, 0, negative 6. So this is the way it's going to go. Since these are on the left hand side, so they're going to go the left hand side of these matrices. Now we're going to really multiply, we're going to repeat this process for next these two columns as well. Also these numbers, these blue numbers going to show up in the first column as well. So now you can see that I we have just filled in the blanks for these blue numbers. They're going to go in the very first slot of these boxes and you have to repeat them three times all right let's move on to next one on the right hand side let's focus on the right hand side matrix the red matrix you see this one the very first column negative three seven negative six let me show you where this is gonna go so i want you to put down negative three right up here seven over here and negative six up here now next thing over here look at this one matrix uh, this column this one negative four two five so that is going to go to negative four and here is going to be two here is going to be five and finally this last column is going to go I, I'm, I'm sure you are right. It's going to go over here. It's going to be a 0, negative 1, and 8. See right now? So these column, I put it in a like a more like a linear way, in a horizontal way. So these column have become like a more like a rows. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you what is going to happen next. So now this 3, negative 3 is going to show up in all of these one you just filter that in same thing that is going to go in that one and that is going to go in that one what that means that means it's going to be a simply you're going to put down negative three negative three negative three seven 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 and here is going to be a negative six negative six and negative six and likewise you're going to filter them in as well you can see over here we're going to do this process for all these numbers over here and here is the final product is going to look like after 
filling in the blanks all these blue and red numbers the next step is really simple now we're going to multiply these parentheses says so 5 times negative 3 becomes negative 15 negative 2 times 7 is going to become negative 14 this become positive 48 we're going to just simplify these ones and now for your convenience i have put down i multiply them out in this left hand side box that i put down negative 15 over here negative 14 this is positive 48 in a nice way you can see i fill in the blanks everything and i simplified them and the next step is I want you to open up these parentheses just get rid of these parentheses when you open it up this become negative 15 this negative 14 and then positive 48 so we no longer have a parentheses and now uh, we are going to simplify these numbers let's go ahead negative 15 negative 14 plus 48 if you simplify them that is going to give you 19 the next number is going to be negative 64 this is going to be negative 62 and over here this is going to be 19 again here is going to be 18 here is going to be negative 1 here is going to be 112 here is going to be 20 and finally this number is going to be negative 55 and finally you can observe that this answer matrix is 3 by 3 as well that means it has 3 rows and 3 columns thus here is our answer when we multiply these two given matrices and finally here is your assignment can you multiply these two given matrices exactly the way I modeled it for you guys? You can take your time, you can pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.